So, I've been thinking about people lately. A lot about people. You know, sometimes the concept of other people is amazing. So, they all have life experiences and stories, as do you. And when you cross into other people, these stories mix into the, each other's own. The story of a single man could be intertwined with the story of a thousand others. That's the cool part, is that like stories do, they have morals to them. While if every story there is emotions and things that different people react differently to, but because people spend their lives learning, to some extent or other, they all have lessons. Nostalgia of my favorite teacher floated across my mind, simply because it couldn't better exemplify this. She and I were in a close student-teacher relationship. The ironic part is that few others in the school liked her. She was a French teacher, a good one too, but the best lessons that she taught about was the lessons of life. While she is retired now, she is a large contribution to where I am speaking with you today. One of the most profound lessons she ever taught me was her goodbye. While goodbyes most always have pain, they always have a lesson taught and a lesson learned. It was that day that I learned why I was like so much. It was because of my far-reaching respect, my love for people, my manners, my attitude. But what it showed was that she actually had a grandson with autism. He is young, and the implications of this were not known. But she told me that the way I am gave her peace of mind there. This made me feel as if I made a positive difference. That is good, since if there is anything that I like, it is spreading joy to people, doing my best to give them security. So, that's a pretty good reason for why I'm here today. Here on audio, am I a teacher? I'd honestly like to think not. Everything is a life lesson, but I'd rather believe that my words are but a reminder of the things that you have priorly learned. Well, we all got life. As such, we all got lessons. Let's go learn, chicken man.